to the spot. He picked the spot. He's like, babe, you, you up in there trying to order a whole pizza. No, get you a slice because you can have a variety. See, I think, I, think, I think a lot of times, too, not meaning to cut nobody off, a lot of times what's problem is the communication. If I got $10 in my pocket and I want to take out, I'm going to be like, baby, I ain't got number no $10. What you want to do? And if she says she going... want to go, then she can't complain. Right. It's the bottom line. Don't complain. Not but, only that, but, but April, what I'm but saying is that the... we hold these men to a lot of standard. I'm not saying that we shouldn't require some things of men or whatever, but I think that you could have missed out on a good dude. You don't know because he couldn't get you a slice of pizza, a dollar. And I, but no, you exude that, baby. Trust me. You look like the type that uh, a, a brother got to do something for you. Okay, you do. Oh, okay. So. All right. Uh, no, I ain't calling her no hoe. Let's get back to the uh, chivalry. I ain't saying she a gold digger or nothing like that, but. The, uh, what I'm saying is that what she's saying is. It's okay if a white woman has that same. White woman? What are you saying? No, no, no. I ain't comparing listen, myself to no white listen. woman because I've been a black woman. White or black, if I ain't got but $10 in my pocket. We spend it nine fifty. But that's what I'm saying. We didn't even have to spend a dime on it. I was I wasn't happy going to the party anyway. Okay, I, so no, so here, me, if it was me, I'd have been like, okay, you ain't got no I'ma get I, I want another slice of pizza pizza, I'm gonna give me a slice of pizza. And if you just ain't got it, nigga, I got you. Exactly. I got you. What's the big deal with that? I've gone to the club and bought a brother a drink and met some wonderful people that way. Every time I go to the club, you women broke ass bitches going to the club ain't got no money and want a brother to buy you a drink all the time. Buy your own damn drinks, okay? And then or expect not to get asked to go home. Yeah. That don't constitute whether a brother got money or not or like you or not just because he didn't buy you a drink or he gave you one slice of pizza. I felt like he was honest about it. Is it okay, okay to go back to the original question? Yeah, I, I was trying to do that. <laughs> and we had a question from the yeah, audience. The, the original question was, is chivalry dead? So let's go back to that. Yes. Because the money thing is a whole nother thing. And we're trying to weigh in from the audience. This is the exact reason chivalry is dead. Because it is right here over a piece of pizza. But you, gotta, but you know what, sweetheart? The type of men that I did, I went out with him because a friend asked me to, first and foremost. So what you're so, saying is a privilege to date the you that, now? The, the men that I date, even it, it, the men that I date, they get out of their car I, and come and open my door. I don't touch doors. We talking That's about a the, piece oh, no, of pizza. Oh, no, no, we, she said we talking about chivalry now. Uh, last week, I, we had an event down here. The guy stopped his car in the middle of the street to make sure that I got to my car safe and drove me to my car. Not worried about, oh, well, no, she can go on here and go to her car. The men that I date, they get out of their car every single time. All and of them. Every single time. All and of walk them. around. Where, my, my, All where, where of my boy at? I, I came here tonight with my, my friend right here. All now, of this them. is just my friend. He, when I got out, when we got here tonight, I sat in the car. It was like in him. He just That's because you sat in the car. And he tried but, to get some. And he was ready to no. go. <laughs> but every man that I date, it, it all depends on the character of the man. If you can sit back and say you didn't open a woman's door because it depends on how you feel. I about think her. at this point, I think we, right I think That's we understand that six right five doesn't have that much chivalry. No, 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 no. I'm saying this is what I'm saying. What I'm you saying. Be a man not, at all times. Can can I talk? <laughs> But what I'm, this is what I'm saying, is that if I do offer chivalry, it's because I'm really feeling you. If I'm not feeling you, I'm not even about to exhaust my energy to make you think I'm feeling you. That's not okay, showing feeling, that's, that's just being a gentleman. That's not real chivalry, because what happens is, after you feel me for a minute, and open that door, and you get what you want, I won't get that treatment anymore. Is that what you're saying? If you was dry when I, uh, you know, <laughs> the callback. Hey, you had to quit. You had something Yeah, my to man sing. got something. He about to quit. No can do. Go ahead, brother. Okay, here we go again. Chivalry is not dead. Okay? This is the deal. A lot of you women mess up. If you take your time and slow your roll when you're out on a date, you stand in front of that car door, 
That brother over on the other side, you stand there, okay? He jump in that car. You stand there, okay? You set the president of how you want him to treat you. Okay? The problem is, yeah. you all don't or do get left. You that. Oh, no, I okay? Now, I thought you was in here. to continue on to do for you. But when you got to remember, when you're on a date, slow your roll, step back, and let the man do for you. Two things I got to say. <laughs> My secretary is a perfect example of what you just said about a woman being so independent. We go to the grocery store every week to get supplies for the office. The woman is incredible. Like, she carries all of the bags. I'm like, no, you don't do that. I'm with you. She carries the bags. She puts the groceries up. She's doing, she's opening doors. I'm like, you don't have to do all of that. And unconsciously, she's not thinking, I got a dude with me that really, you know, he's my, he might be my boss, but he's still a gentleman. And but she work, if she work for you, that's different, though, ain't it? <laughs> I mean, no, I still respect her as a woman. That's like, what I'm saying. Regardless of but that's what, what I'm saying. Is. As the character of the man of who you are, it doesn't matter if you're dating her or not. It's just in you to, uh, to do that, to be able it's to be a man. In me. Like, I don't want anybody to treat my daughter like that or, you know, not do open the door for my daughter. That's why I do for my daughter what I would want a man to do. Ex exactly. And, 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 and then what you said um, about the whole shit for me, after I went through my divorce, I didn't realize how a man was treat a woman. There's one guy in my life, him and his wife, he took me out to dinner at least three to four times a week. He said, April, when you get to the door, you walk such several spaces behind. He gave me the whole whole nine to where now it's just in me to be able to say, I'm not touching no doors. I'm not so it's not like a it's not like um I'm just walking around like, oh yeah, he gotta do this and that. It's how I've been trained. Okay, ladies, this is, excuse me, I mean the question. This is a perfect example if a man got shivery. If y'all walking on the sidewalk and you on the outside, don't mess with that dude. If he pulls you over to the inside, then, you know, y'all got, you got something. Why you got to risk your life? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> why, hey. why you got to get run over by a car to prove your love? You know what I mean? <laughs> now, now, but I, I want to pose this question because this is something that, I, that, you know, as you begin to hire people, it's something you got to consider. So you saying that if you had somebody that was working for you that happened to be a woman, and y'all was like getting supplies that you would carry all the supplies, and that person is working for you. Yeah, she's a secretary. She doesn't. That's not her in her, in her job description to carry bags to my office for me. Okay. Her job description is to sit in that office, answer the phones, and do paperwork. So she's going above and beyond her exactly. duties. Exactly. Even okay. if she didn't. But he's saying even as a man, that's right. Job. Even even if, if she, she is on the clock, and that's part of her job. <laughs> You don't be opening her door. She working. I, let let me, her man do that. Let me let me clear this up. Am I up. wrong? Because I, I don't. No, because that's a part of the man that he, he, he's saying. I respect that, but yeah. but but. But no, and I feel you too. She on the clock though. She on the clock. You work for me every. Now, you I, goddamn. You you get ready to listen, open your own door. Listen, here's the difference. Here's the difference. If, if I had multiple employees, yes, I couldn't do that. Right. So I would never put myself out there to be opening up doors situation. for everybody. But I have one secretary, and I want to respect her as a woman first, and then let her know that she's got a respectable job. That's handling the business. And, and let me just say this, because I, I don't, I don't want y'all to make me out to be the black sheep just to think that I don't believe in chivalry, <laughs> because I do. I have a 10-year-old niece. When she was four years old, I take me and my niece, we go on dates. And, and I told her one day we was riding, she was in the back seat. I told her straight up, I was like, yo, you don't get out the car until a man opens the door. And, and, and it dawned on me one day, we, I dropped her off at home. I got out the car and went to the front door. And she was sitting in the car. And I realized, oh, shoot, I just had to talk with her. But you don't do that. You, you got to be killing a woman to do that. I'm, I'm just being real. But you know what? Don't. You know what? No, but you know what? 
Don't, 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 don't hate on me because I'm keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not fronting with you. I feel you. I'm just keeping it real. So when I'm telling, and you know what? So guess what? You can tell, you can tell, you can, no, I ain't going to tell her that. But I'm just saying, you tell your friends, if you go on a date with DJ 65 and the nigga don't open the door, he ain't feeling you. You ain't got to ask no questions. I'm not even about to sugarcoat it with you, baby. If I'm not feeling you, I'm not feeling you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next question. All right, check. One, two, one, two. All right, check it out. It's not so much that it's dead, but at least if we have to call it to question the topic. You know, I know Nas came out a couple of years ago with a song, Is Hip Hop Dead? But it inspires dialogue amongst the people who are dealing with the situation. What's going on now is that people in our age demographic I think we still have a hold on a lot of on a lot of chivalry. But if you look at the youth out there, a lot of the younger people, they have an estate they don't have established role models showing them that sort of thing. It's important we back up and we, we address the youth because they are today. Our day is coming going with that. You know what I'm saying? Most of us, a lot of us are in relationships, a lot of us have gotten out of relationships. They're going to get into other ones, but we know what to expect. We know what we've been taught, but we need to teach the youth. We need to teach these young brothers out there. Yo, I, lo I love our culture. I love our music. I love everything about it. But, you know, with everything being bitch, ho, and this, that, and the other, you know, I, I know back in our day, Latifah came out with a song, Who You Calling a Bitch? You know what I'm saying? But now it's the status quo. If you talk to these young sisters out here, they don't mind being called a bitch. They're not going to get no doors open, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying it's up to us to, you know, resurrect. And it's all about respect and protect. So I'm just saying.